Hi guys. Welcome to the Square Zone. Today we are going to discuss about logging AWS instance without using PPK file. Here we are using Ubuntu server to connect. And before going to the session, we'll talk about few keywords. Those are SSH, PPK, PEM, PuTTY, and Git Bash. Here PPK is PuTTY private key. SSH is secure shell. PEM is private enhanced mail. Here PuTTY is an SSH and Telnet client developed originally by Simon for the Windows platform. And it is an open source software. Git Bash is an application for Microsoft Windows environment. Now let all of us go into the concept. Here I already launched the instance in AWS server. Here I am using PuTTY to connect server. So in PuTTY configuration, I am giving host name. Here I'm giving my host name and in connection field in SSH in auth I'm browsing my PPK file and try, I'm trying to log into the server. For the first time we need to log in using ppk file if you are using git bash then you can log in using pem file instead of ppk file so here i'm using ubuntu server so my default user is ubuntu if you are using centos or red hat uh, servers default user will be ec2 hyphen user so I am giving my default user Ubuntu. Yeah. So I am changing the user as root user using sudo su hyphen command. Sorry, typo mistake. sudo su hyphen. Okay. Here I am setting password to user. Okay. Let me note down the steps here. First, we need to set the password to root user or else if you create any new user also you can give the password to this. So here I am using pass w d and to set the password, this is the command passwd and username. I'm using root as user, that's why I'm giving root. Here I'm giving password to the root user. Confirm password. Yeah. So password updated successfully. 
so here we are trying to connect the server using ppk file for this we need to configure sshd config file so the the default path of sshd config file is slash etc slash ssh slash sshd hyphen config so i am using vi editor to open this file So in escape mode, I'm searching keyword. Here we need to change two words. Password authentication. See here, password authentication by default it's no so we need to change it as s by using i it becomes insert mode yes and i'm searching with root keyword So here we need to change permit root login. Yes. So it's in uh, commented session. So we need to change it as yes. And we need to save this file using high colon w q exclamation mark so here we configured sshd config file and need to restart the service So use, using service sshd restart command we can restart the service. So here now we can check whether 
is it updated or not I'm just giving only IP address of this service. I'm giving user as root and I'm setting already the password. So I'm giving the password here. See here, I'm not browsing any PPK file directly by using an, the username and password I connected to the server directly. So this is the process to connect AWS instance without using PPK file. That's it guys. So hope everyone enjoyed this video. If you have any queries on this video, please let me know. If you like this video, please like, share and do subscribe. Don't forget to click on bell icon. If you have any doubts, please keep posting in comment session. Thank you guys.